Hey, and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we'd really appreciate it if you would. Today we're going to take a look at the Lenovo E16 Gen 1 or G1. This is replacing the E15 Gen 4. This is of course a 16 inch versus the previous 15.6. I think Lenovo is doing that in most of their product line. I know the Legion series had switched a couple years ago. We'll look at the outside and inside and benchmarks as well. Let's get started. This laptop PC has an AMD Ryzen 7 7730U 8-core processor, 2 GHz base, 4.5 GHz boost, AMD Radeon graphics, 16 GB of DDR4 3200 RAM, 512 GB M2 PCIe 4.0 X4 NVMe Opal 2.0 SSD, 16-inch 1920x1200 IPS display, Gigabit Ethernet, Wi-Fi 6 11AX with Bluetooth 5.1, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, USB-C 3.2 Gen 1 and Gen 2, HDMI 1.4B, 1080p webcam with privacy shutter, dual mic array, backlit keyboard, discrete TPM 2.0, aluminum top and bottom and graphite black, 65 watt USB-C power adapter, Windows 11 Pro 64-bit and weighs 4.34 pounds. The top and bottom case are both aluminum. There is a bump out here for the webcam, which is new for this model. Webcam is at the top with dual mic array. There's a privacy shutter. When it's red, it's closed and off, and otherwise it's open when pulled to the right. There's a full-size keyboard with 10 key number pad, function keys along the top as usual with Lenovo. Power button is here with a fingerprint reader built in. Still have the track point with clicky buttons and the touchpad. On the left side, we have two USB Type-C ports, USB Type-A, HDMI, and the headset jack. On the right side, we have a Kensington lock location, collapsible gigabit ethernet, and another USB type A. I want to point out a few things about the chassis that's a little different than the E15. There's a foot or stand along the back that's a little bit taller, which does concern me that people might tear that off kind of easily. There's little feet on the front. It says AL ThinkPad E16 Gen 1 aluminum right here, signifying that all aluminum chassis. There's a serial number here, so I covered it with tape, but there's the bump out for the webcam, and you can operate the shutter with it shut, which worries me that that might get caught on things and get torn up a little bit. There's screws on the sides, one in the middle, and nothing on the front except these corners. The chassis is all aluminum, but there's still plenty of plastic clips and mounts mounted to the aluminum. The fact that it doesn't bend much, though, makes it a little bit harder to get apart, and so it's a little tighter to get in there, but the plastic pop clips are just as frustrating as always. There is a little thermal pad for the M2 drive here. Full-size battery, stereo speakers. There's the M2 NVMe SSD. It is a short one, and a longer one will not fit here. But luckily, there's an unpopulated full-length M2 slot here. There's the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. And the RAM is under a cover, which they've been doing more and more lately. There's a serial number on the cover, too. 8 gigs is soldered on. And then I've got an 8 gig SODIMM that came in it as well. So it should operate in dual channel mode for a total of 16 gigabytes on this one. The processor with built-in graphics is under here with a heat pipe to carry that heat to a heat sink and the fan blows through. I wanted to compare the pass mark score of the E16 G1 with the E15 G4. Now our E15 had a Ryzen 5, only 8 gigs of RAM and a 256 SSD. This E16 we got has a Ryzen 7 with 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 SSD, so it's not apples to apples, but I still figured that there's value here. Now notice the pass mark score is higher, but the percentile is actually one point lower. That's because it's been about a year and the fact that a lot of these newer systems using the Passmark performance test are probably DDR5, and this one unfortunately is still DDR4, which I know Lenovo is probably going to get a lot of flack about. 
If you look at the CPU mark, it is decently better as it should be on a Ryzen 7. The 3D mark is considerably better with it only being integrated graphics. It's like double the score, which is great. The memory mark is likely because of dual channel mode and the fact that it's 16 gigs, but it's decently better. And I'm actually very surprised how much better the disc mark is as well. The display on this PC seems to be the biggest upgrade from the E15 series. It is a little bit bigger, but honestly the panel looks a lot better. Uh, as far as the computer overall, the performance is better as you saw from the benchmark. Do like that backlit keyboard, and I think the quality is still really good. As far as criticisms, this whole bump out for the camera is kind of funky looking, and the fact that it hangs past the body when shut is kind of strange as well. But I think it's probably going to be a really good quality, and I like that they went back to the black chassis versus that like silver with a black keyboard that the E15 Gen 4 was, so I am happy with that. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to purchase one, and if you go ahead and use that link, it really helps support our channel. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and if there's anything you want to add that I didn't include, put that in the comments as well. I'm always glad to learn something new. Thanks!